Frankfurt fans in Sevilla. Are there any thoughts to, to get that energy from those fans? Because so do, is there anything? Are you gonna show yourselves to the fans? No, like in the last few away games, mm, the, there will be a few videos, and from fr from the hotel, we will just be able to see some of those videos. But uh, everyone who has seen the stadium live knows about the fantastic atmosphere. Anyway, Mr. Glasner, last time we were here, then you you told us about the approach to, to Sevilla, and, and now two months later you're back here in the final. Yeah. Europa League games have become bigger and bigger in the last couple of months. I am very proud of my players, what they have achieved in the last two months. So everything has been fine so far. The training has been very positive. We have very good mood, very concentrated, focused, but we're also relaxed. So that's why I am relaxed and I'm really excited about tomorrow. Mr. Glasner, it's evident that you are trying to do the same things as in previous games. What is different? Is there anything that you're doing differently here? Just just to try to, to be uh, to relaxing actively here? No, it's the same. Well, it's not. But the press conference is much later than normal. Uh, we've not we've been on on the pitch. Normally we had the slot at seven thirty, but that's not because we're doing anything secret. When we're we go into the hotel and then we'll have dinner at ten p.m. So when I eat something at ten p.m., then I can't sleep too well. So that was the reason why. But everything else, well, I'll, I'll observe my players and then I'll think what we can do. And when I saw the training today, so I don't think I have to show them how to be relaxed. Everyone is relaxed. So I, I, I can't say now what I will tell my players tomorrow, like two hours before the match. So I'm, of course, I'm tr think trying to think now what I could tell them, but I know the players very well. We've spent lots of hours together, so maybe they don't even need anything from me. So they're they're really hot to play the final. Hi, my my name is Omar Akatsuba. I work with Omar Sports. Uh, my my question is to the coach, and I'll say it in German. Um, they have won against Barcelona. Und West Ham gewonnen. Uh, you've, you, you won against Barcelona and West Ham. Rangers beat Dortmund and Leipzig. Barcelona and West Ham are better teams. Who says that? Well, on, on, on paper. Uh, well, I can... I can say the opposite you, you you can't do these sort of calculations if you in, if you play against the if you win against the second and the fourth of the Bundesliga then you are the the favorite because we are 11th in the Bundesliga so maybe that's the calculation but it, it doesn't matter Both teams have absolutely deserved to play this final. So we, we've analyzed Rangers. Uh, they're, they're like a mixture of West Ham and Barcelona. You can see the Dutch influence. 
the way they play, the way they, they have triangles, they have the British mentality. Therefore, we, we need to have a top performance tomorrow, but we are absolutely ready. We are in great shape. So we, we will be playing with lots of enthusiasm. The whole of Europe uh, is looking forward to this match. Lindström, any news you could tell us? He's fine. I he he trained fine today. Like in the last few days, he trained yesterday and the day before as well. No negative reaction. He is ready to play, and I can now start thinking whether he will start or will have him on the bench at the beginning. I will decide that tomorrow. Everyone else except for Martin Hinteregger, all the other players are fit. You you just talked about the British mentality. What does that mean? It's a t the Rangers are a team who play lots of duels. They're very robust in those duels, and they are, they they really have the desire to run back after they lose the ball. Not only the full backs, Tavernier is, is top scorer of the Europa League, so that that shows that he runs a lot. The def defensive midfielders. Uh, uh, want to to uh, work hard there as well they're always ready they always show this readiness to, to defend but also to go forward Th that combined with a very good football they, they play very fast they, they just play with few contacts uh, so the, this is how they scored their goals. We know that from West Ham, they can cross the ball very quickly. And so against Braga, they scored like that. Also against Leipzig. So this is British mentality. During your career, you've had a few big moments. Um, what do you think about this one here? Well, this is the highlight of my career. It's one game, and it'll be gigantic tomorrow. Hi, to the coach. Uh, I want to ask you, how, how does it feel to go back to Spain? You already won, won against Betis, and now, um, sorry, and then the Barcelona. <laughs> the application, I'm sorry. And then the Barcelona, when you have this 50,000, uh, 30,000 people uh, in the stadium. So how does it feel? It's, it's just because in, in a cup situation, it's different than the league when you have a motivation on your side and in the way that you made this run. Yes, Thank you very I, much. I will go back to Spain in one month for vacation. So I, I like uh, to be in Spain. And um, yes, uh, we, it's our third game here in Spain. Uh, but the, other, the first two matches were against Spanish teams. Now we play against the Scottish team. And we could win the first two games, so yes, we come here with a good feeling. Um, and um, yes, uh, and I always uh, like to come to Spain because I like uh, the food, the tapas, and fantastic stadium. 
uh, fantastic always the pitch is in a perfect uh, perfect uh, preparation so really will be yeah everything is 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 perfect for us and then this big playing a big final here so but on the other side if the final would be anywhere in Europe I also would be glad to be there a question from the gentleman next to the pillar here Hi there, a question for Rafael. Um, your teammate for Colombia is Alfredo Morelos. Have you spoke with him? Have you had any exchanges with him before the final? Uh, la verdad que, bueno, eh, es una lástima que tampoco que no pueda estar en la final por, por su lesión, pero sé que... Injury. I know he's a very important player for Rangers. We got to speak before the game. We might see each other tomorrow to say hi. I'm, I'm on international duty with him and it will be wonderful to see him again tomorrow. Hopefully the best team wins tomorrow. A question for Rafael. I'd like to ask about the Copa Libertadores. You, were you expecting to play in another final so soon after the Copa Libertadores final? What do you make of the competition? And what qualities do Frankfurt have that can help you win the Europa League final? The Copa Libertadores final was a fantastic experience. But of course, this is a different situation with a different club. It's a wonderful moment for me. It's a great chance to play in a final for Eintracht Frankfurt. It's fantastic for everything we've experienced to get to this point. The difference is that this is my first European final and as a squad, the great quality that we have is we are so united, we work together to defend and to attack. So that's what has got us here. We hope to keep that up tomorrow and get our hands on the trophy. So you, you said that you you have to try to to get the atmosphere from the hotel, but what else are you doing? How 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 do you feel the euphoria? You well, well, yeah, of course. In the last few weeks, like since the West Ham game, we, we've seen that euphoria, everyone's looking forward to it, if you, you go shopping in the supermarket, everyone talked about that, Every, everyone hopes that we'll be winning, so we get goosebumps every time we think about that, what, what we will be able to feel tomorrow so both sets of fans will create a crazy atmosphere tomorrow it, it, it's a, Tuta plays is playing a very good season. He, he's definitely a regular now. He, he didn't have it easy at the beginning, but he he listened to the advice, and I think he scored four goals in the league, and uh, he's had a very good season. And that's why we would like to keep him for longer. He has seen that for his personal development, he can make the next steps with us and can be successful with Eintracht. And that's why the package has just been worked well for, for both. And that's why I'm very happy that he is going to extend his contract.
<laughs> this is when I talk to the players. Uh, uh, wie war die Frage? Uh, für unsere Fans, nee, unsere, ja, unsere Our fans, um, yeah, they're amazing, it's incredible what sort of travels they have undertaken, how they help us, what atmosphere they create, all the enthusiasm, the euphoria they have. It's, this is one of those things that you can't really measure. As Sebastian said, you, you get goosebumps. Something is happening inside you. And this is helps to win games. So tomorrow we'll have two teams which are which have some of the best fans and away fans. So I think there will be around 150,000 fans here between the two clubs. So I mean, Spain is not just around the corner. So it, it's quite something to come here. And they, they're coming to help their team and to see their team win. So thank you very much to our fans for being here in such vast numbers and hopefully they will help us win. Question for Rafael, how have you changed since you've been here and what, how have you found this year? Good afternoon. My assessment is very positive. I've learned so much this year in Germany. I think the key thing is about possession. German teams are very direct and like to have few touches of the ball with fast transitions, whereas in South America we like to keep possession more and have more touches of the ball. So You have to change that mentality to be more direct and play faster with the ball. That's one of the biggest changes. As for the team, that movements on the pitch have become part of my game to help me settle in. And that's down to the coach in terms of what he asks of us. Die neue 